2000, New York, fight at Madison Square Garden, uh, and you decide you want to get a tanning bed <laughs> in preparation for the fight. Oh my gosh. So, so I'm fighting at Madison Square Garden, okay? I mean, the mecca of boxing, right. you know, and, um, and image is everything. I have to look good, you know? And I don't know if it was, it must have been the winter because I, I, I had no tan. I always had to have a tan, you know, because girls love that, <laughs> you know? I found this little tanning machine that tans your face, you know? Um, so you can have a nice, you know, nice complexion and everything, you know? So I get it FedEx, gets to the hotel, and so I'm reading the instructions and uh, it says, okay, um, you know, stay in front of the, the machine, wait for it to turn on. You know, you see these red lights just, you know, you have to wear these little goggles. So I thought to myself, well, I don't want to, I don't want to have those circles around my eyes. You know, I want to just have a nice tan, you know, all around, you know, just a, a perfect, perfect tan, you know? So I didn't wear the goggles and I put my face there. <laughs> And they told, the, the, the instructions tells you, okay, keep your face away from the machine. Um, you know, don't get closer to it. You know, you have to be maybe uh, about maybe 12 inches from the, from the machine. So I said, you know what? I'll maybe get a darker tan if I get closer. So I was maybe literally like three inches from the, from the machine. And it tells you, you know, don't stay longer than, no more longer than five minutes. So I said, you know what, I'll, I'll stay maybe like 20. So I was there, you know, and, uh, and it was late at night, so finished that process. I went to bed, and I woke up in the morning. I couldn't open my eyes. And that was, and that was Friday before the fight. Oh, I great. couldn't open my eyes. I just, I was so swollen. I mean, my eyes were shut. I couldn't open them. I had a nice tan. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't open my, I couldn't open my eyes, so I had to go to the weigh-in. I weighed in with glasses. At least um, you looked good for the fight. I looked good for the fight, you know. But that was the, uh, yeah. We almost canceled the fight because I wanted to look good having a, t you know, with a tan. Yeah. And did did you end up winning? I ended up winning, but every time he would hit my face, it would burn. It would literally burn because I was so burnt. Every time he hit my face, I told, I told my corner people, just smear Vaseline everywhere because <laughs> my face is just so hot. Um, I luckily stopped him like in seven rounds, so we ended up winning that fight. So who eats two dozen oysters the night before <laughs> a fight? I do. Apparently. I'm fighting. I assume that was a one-time thing, though, not a... It was a one-time okay. thing. So we're opening up the Staples Center the first boxing event ever. I'm fighting Sugar Shane Mosley, who is, um, I've known since we were kids. So on Friday, the night before the, uh, the fight, you know, you weigh in. And uh, when I made the weight, when I made the actual weight, I, you know, we, you tell your team, hey, let's go celebrate. Right. Let's go back to my stomping grounds in East LA, go to this little favorite Mexican little restaurant and, and uh, hey, let's get some mariachi and just have a good time. Because after you make the weight, you can eat as much as you want Whatever because you, you, want. you hit the weight you need for the fight, so, right? So, so in the meantime, my, my nutritionist, my, my trainers are telling me, no, let, let's stick to our diet till the last fight. No, 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 let's go celebrate. You know, I made weight, I'm happy. You know, all my family's gonna watch me fight. I'm excited. We go to this little restaurant. Um, everybody orders, you know, their food, and I say, "Bring me two dozen oysters." So I eat the oysters, and um, and that night, boy, I remember it clearly. That night, I heard this rumbling in my stomach. I was like, "No, no way!" That whole night, I didn't sleep. I was sick like there's no tomorrow. I ended up weighing two pounds less than what I weighed in the actual weigh-in on Friday dur during the fight. Were, were you concerned you wouldn't be able to fight? In oh, the I was concerned that the following morning, um, I, I was convinced I wasn't gonna fight. I can't face Sugar Shane Mosley, yeah. who was undefeated, who was, nobody wanted to fight. I can't, 
I can't do it like this. So finally, somebody convinced me. Hey, go up. It's look, you got all these, all these stars, celebrities, and you know you have to do it. You know. So I go out there and uh, I was praying and praying and praying. He wouldn't hit me in the stomach. I was praying and uh, yeah, I got through it, but I did lose the fight.